It is a warm and humid afternoon out there. Some folks getting a break from the rain for the moment. That's certainly some good news for a lot of people after what was just some deluges last night. That is your Kentucky One Health weather bug camera located in Jessamine County at St. Joseph Jessamine there in Nicholasville. Right off of Highway 27 bypass. You can see we've got sunshine out there. And when the sun came out, those temperatures really jumped up. At the moment, we've had a few thunder showers exiting out of southeast Kentucky. Pike County, Harlan County still seeing a little bit of rain. One of them up in northern Kentucky. But really, for all of us right now, we are in the dry slot of the storm. That was not the case earlier today. We're going to go back again to about 6 o'clock this morning through about 10. You'll just see waves of rain following one right after the other. And the end result was a whole lot of water came down for some. You see in Frankfurt, two and a quarter inches. That was over at the Capital City Airport. Uh, Mount Sterling had about you know, two thirds of an inch of rain. Lexington just under a half officially. No, well, London had a half inch, but only two hundreds came out of Somerset. But sometimes the devil is in the details. Where the rain fell heaviest in Fayette County from midnight last night was on the east side of the county as opposed to the west side out by the airport. Childsburg, 2.2 inches of rain not far from Jacobson Park. Winchester Road had over two inches of rain. Bryan Station was an inch and a third. East Hickman there along Tate's Creek Road, 1.5 inches of rain, but Veterans Park under an inch. Downtown was under an inch. West side of the county, Yarlton, barely a third of an inch of rain came down. But look at Carlisle, 2.2. Paris had 2.6. Cynthiana was an inch and a half of rain. You look to the south and southwest. Over in Anderson County, Glensboro had 2.4 inches. But Highbridge along the Kentucky River, only about a tenth of an inch of rain came down. We'll still track these tropical downpours here for the next couple of days. The rest of the week, we're on the edge of a whole lot of water just to our east. The eight day does get warmer. Talking about all that water, this is through Sunday. The rainfall estimations off the European forecast model. Look at it through the, the Appalachians there. Three and four inch rainfall totals, but also how quickly you go from a whole lot of water to basically not much. So again, it's that close. Here's the setup. Bermuda High sitting out here in the Atlantic. It's scooched a little bit further to the west than where it was about a week ago. The big heat ridge out in the southwest with a trough in between. But if you notice, we go from Wednesday, Thursday, that trough stays in place. That means the corridor of rain stays in place. But by the weekend, we start pushing everything back to the west a little bit and our weather begins to warm up. So there is your surge of rain that came through this morning. There's a rotation back here. That's the upper level low. But again, that whole stream of moisture just keeps continuing. So there's your warm front. We are firmly in the warm sector at the moment. That's why it's warm and humid outside. But that front, you notice it just kind of hangs around. There's no big push for it to go to the east. So as long as it hangs around, so does the chance for rain. Where the sun has emerged, we've jumped up into the low 80s this afternoon, and it is really humid. For tonight, occasional rain and thunder showers. That's going to be late tonight. Most of your evening's going to be fine. We'll be in the upper 60s, and tomorrow we're going to push 80 again. Mainly cloudy. We may break into a little bit of sun. If we do, we may scooch those temperatures into the low 80s. Rain chances start to decrease on Thursday. As we get toward the weekend, we're going to keep at least a minor rain chance into Saturday. I do think most of your weekend is fine and getting hotter. Okay, okay, that's the thing, yeah, because when you look at that Friday, Saturday, it looks a little scary. <laughs> Bark worse than bite. Yes, yes. All right, Bill, thank All right. you.